What made Jose so uniquely special to family and friends was his insatiable enthusiasm in everything that he did. As my big brother, he was my main inspiration in my life. Jose was dedicated and devoted. Caring for and giving to others was the cornerstone of his life. On October 1st, 2008, I lost my brother, Jose Jamil Miranda. Months before his passing, my brother shared a dream with me that he would love to participate in medical mission trips around the world. Jose's Hands was established as a nonprofit to honor Jose and perpetuate his values and memory. Jose's Hands finds it important to introduce first year medical school students to the world of medical mission trips, exposing them to the health social and cultural characteristics of a third world country. This year, Jose's Hands took 10 first year medical school students from all across the United States to the beautiful country of the Dominican Republic. Santiago. Hey man, we're here, we're here. Jose's hands, OTTOM, together, Santiago, Monte Cristi, and many, many, many more countries to go. The Dominican Republic has a unique set of healthcare concerns. Dengue, malaria, cholera, STDs. These are all the types of health problems that we were expecting to encounter on our trip. Outside of the capital, emergency services range from very limited to non-existent. I mean, for a person that they have anything, at least, at least, this is a so that's it's awesome. It meant so much to me to see others serving wholeheartedly and unselfishly, just like my brother would have served. I saw my brother in each of the medical school students. The students become true heroes to those in need. I imagine my brother smiling down from heaven and being so proud of what the students were doing. I've made a personal commitment to remembering my brother through my participation in the advancement of medical mission work. Through Jose's hands, my brother's spirit will live on. <laughs>